All right, our political insiders, Tony May and Charlie Giroux, join us in the studio. And a uh, perfect segue into Yeah, we got segment. the midterm elections out of the way. Yeah. Now is a good time to start looking at the governor's race. Okay. And uh, Jack Wagner apparently rattling the cage a little bit now. So, uh, Charlie, let's start with you. Wagner, Democrat. Um, how do you feel about him jumping in? Is that too Jack many Democrats? Wag well, there are an awful lot, there as you know, lot. Rob. And the interesting thing is most of them are from southeastern Pennsylvania. And while the bulk of the Democratic primary vote is in southeastern Pennsylvania, not all of it is. And when you divide that up, somebody coming out of the West with a profile like Jack Wagner's could be a very formidable candidate. The countervailing point of view, and Tony may want to express this, is that Jack Wagner has always had trouble winning primaries and raising money. But if he could clear the hurdle, he would be a very tough candidate in the fall. Is that going to be an issue for him? I think Charlie's covered it exactly. We've got a couple of really well-funded, good fundraisers running in the Democratic primary already. Uh, and uh, Jack does seem to hate to ask people for money, which is a good thing, you know, to have sure. as a friend. <laughs> you don't want to Not as a candidate, and, though. But, <laughs> not as a candidate. Uh, but he is a good vote-getter, and he was very successful in two races for Auditor General, and uh, so it makes him uh, an odds-on favorite. Uh, uh, he'd be running against an incumbent uh, state treasurer in this race, in, in, in Rob McCord, but... Uh, uh, and, and seven others, and right? And seven others, yes. Mm -hmm. and, but, but, so, but being the only Western candidate uh, is a real advantage in a Democratic primary. As strategists, what is it like jumping into a race that has so many candidates? Mm -hmm. Is it good for you? I think for, for Wagner, it's good for him. As I say, the problem for Jack Wagner has always been in primary elections. Mm -hmm. Here you've got a very crowded field. His high name recognition and his geographic advantage, I think, would play very, very well. It would uh, lead to a really interesting... Hair showdown in the fall. Two really guys with great white heads of white hair. <laughs> Both from Pittsburgh. That's kind of Both a funny Pittsburgh. way of putting it. Yeah. <laughs> well, speaking of, let's move on to Governor Corbett right now. Right. He he mentioned a, a list of things that really need our attention here in the Keystone State. Um, and Tony, you brought up the point. Well, is he going to get that done during his? Yeah, I, I've brought this up before, and I uh, make the point. He said, uh, talking to the Reading Eagle newspaper that uh, the, the most important issues facing the state right now are transportation funding, uh, getting a, a, a privatization of the liquor stores, the and pension uh, reform. Pension reform. Uh, those are things that really need to be done before January because I think most legislators are all agreed they're not going to vote in favor of such activities in an election year when uh, something's going to cost money or cause great change. Are voters going to gonna be thinking about this when they head to They'll the They'll be polls. thinking about a lot of things. The insiders think about legislative agendas. Voters think about a lot of other things. I agree with Tony. Transportation funding, very, very important. I think there is going to be some bill that they can get through on transportation funding. All right, All right. we've got to end it there. Yep. Thank you, guys. You can see our political insiders every Tuesday right here on CBS 21 News at 530.